Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make those delicious and tasty Nigerian fish rolls. It's a rich and updated version of our old recipe and if you're planning on making this for sale, stay with me till the end because I have a tip or two for you. So now let's get started. The first step is to prepare the filling for the fish rolls. The basic ingredients are fish and any other vegetable of choice. Now to prepare this, we'll boil our fresh mackerel fish with our spices of choice which you can see on the screen but be careful not to overspice the fish so that the fish still tastes like fish. Apart from the fresh mackerel fish, you can also make do with the store-bought canned ones as this fish doesn't require any boiling as they are already cooked. When the fish is fully cooked, take it out of the stock and pick out the bones. Please, please and please, don't rush this process eh, so you don't miss out any bits. When you're done with picking out the bones, you can go ahead and mash the fish with a fork. This will also help you spot out some hidden bones and if you're using the canned fish, also match it and set aside. And now to the final part of this fish roll filling, put a pan on medium heat, then add a little vegetable oil and also add the chopped onions and the garlic powder or minced garlic. Then stir fry a bit until the onions are translucent. Then now you add the grated carrot. You can always leave out the carrots if you want to, but please give it a try because you surely love it. Then add the deboned fish. Also add seasoning cube, pepper if you like a little heat, and salt to taste. Then mix well until well combined. Remember that the fish has already been spiced so you don't really need a lot of spices this time. Stir fry the mixture for about 2-3 to three minutes until the flavors are well combined. Now this is the time to sort out those hidden bones that you probably missed out when you mashed the fish. Even though those bones are soft and chewable, no one likes to see bones in their fish rolls. I can see like one or two here. I don't know how this, I'll pick this off camera and be back. Now transfer everything into a bowl and set aside to cool. So now that we are done with the fish roll filling, the next step is to prepare the pastry or the dough for the fish rolls. Pour the flour into a large bowl, then add the baking powder, the sugar and the salt and mix until well combined.
Then add the melted or softened butter or margarine and mix until crumbly. I'm using a wooden spatula here but feel free to use a mixer or your hand. Now we add the egg, mix well and gradually add water and mix. Add more water until the dough is workable or comes together. Lightly flour the surface you'll be using and place the dough on it and knead for 2 to 3 minutes. Then you let the dough rest covered for 5 minutes in the bowl. After 5 minutes, pinch out some of the dough, then flatten it with your hand and roll it real flat, but not so flat that you can see through it. Cut into rectangles, fill in with your fish filling, tuck the sides, Pinch the ends to seal or seal with a little water. Then roll with your pan until you get your desired length. Now, this is a tip for you if you're planning on making fish roll for sale. You start with a thin rectangular dough like this one. Then you place the fish filling and make sure it's the quantity you're comfortable with. Now you're tucking the fish rolls, seal the sides and roll. Before you notice that as you roll the dough, it stretches and gets longer. So then roll and roll until you get your desired length. And one more tip, which is not one of my favorite but very common, is to use less fish in the filling and more vegetables. I have also seen businesses that actually use only fish oil and onions, but please don't do that. Give your customers good value for their money and they will always come back to you.
And now, back to our fish rolls. When you're done with making all the rolls, set aside and prepare your oil. Put the oil on medium heat until really hot. You can do a heat test by placing a little dough in the oil. When that dough turns slightly brown, then you know the oil is ready for frying. Now that the oil is hot enough, gently drop each fish roll into the hot oil and try not to overcrowd the oil so that the fish rolls will cook without soaking in a lot of oil. Fry each side until brown, tilt to the other side so that they can also brown equally. Finally, we transfer the fish rolls onto a sieve or a tray lined with paper towels. Then we serve and enjoy. Wow, this is delicious. You need to give it a try. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please like it below. But if you loved it, please subscribe and hit on that bell button to get notified for new recipes and posts. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.